We officially made it to CarMax. We're about to get these evaluations. Let's get this Lambo. Today we are going to be trading all five of these vehicles in for a Lamborghini. The goal here is very simple. We are going to be taking all five of these vehicles to CarMax, leaving them there, and leaving with a Lamborghini. I estimate that all five of these vehicles are worth around $115,000. So we'll see what type of vehicle we can get in. Let's go ahead and do this. We got the big man in the mini truck. Let's go. Got the single cab driver in the race truck. This is by far the race truck. It's got that 5.0 V8 in this little tiny light body. Granny Kim in the blue truck. The grandmaest of them all. Mama Mia over here. Mama Mia in the Yoda. Nobody likes to be on camera. But if you ever want to get a bunch of people to uh, drive vehicles for you, gotta buy them lunch. So that's where we're headed first. We officially made it to CarMax. We're about to get these evaluations. Let's get this Lambo. All right, so with everything going on with COVID, they can't give us estimates on five vehicles today. So it's a little bit challenging, but that's YouTube and nowadays world with COVID and everything. We've got the five vehicles here at CarMax, as you can see, and uh, we're ready to roll. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to send in some pictures and a link and blah, 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 blah. We're gonna go back and forth with them. But we're gonna get that Lambo, baby. It doesn't matter. We don't need them. We'll see. No, we, we, they're still gonna give us the valuation. They just can't do it on site because we got too many people. As you can see, we've got our vehicles here. We got the Toyota, the Toyota, the Ford, the Ford, and the Ford. So let's get these things linked up. I just bought everybody's food traveled all the way out here and they said hey just send us some pictures we're gonna do it online because we don't want to put anybody at risk so it is what it is we'll uh we'll, we'll jump back on once we get all the estimates and go from there and see what we got appraised at I'm still excited because I still think we can do this I think we can pull it off I we'll see they might lowball the crap out of us and just completely screw us but in the long run we'll see They're not gonna give us the evaluations here. I appreciate your services. You're no, free to go. Oh, you're serious? All right, guys, thanks for your help. Um, they're gonna do it online. Uh, so, <laughs> thanks for driving out here. Appreciate your guys' help. Uh, online evaluations. Hey, thank you guys for your help. Uh, they're gonna do the evaluations online, so uh, you're no longer needed, you're free to go. Wow. It's big man and small Toyota. Yeah. Thanks a lot, CarMax for absolutely nothing. Okay guys, it has been a couple days and I finally got all the offers in from CarMax. It actually was not hard at all. It was actually really easy. So basically like they send a link through your email and then you gotta go through the link and put all your vehicle information in there, send a bunch of photos to them and then boom, just like that they send you a text message in your text message is your offer and it looks something like this. So it tells you a little bit about your vehicle and then it actually gives you like a report on it and everything and then it gives you the price. So, we're gonna be going through all of these and see if we can get enough money put together to actually get these vehicles. I do think that CarMax is a little bit low on all their offers. However, I do understand they're in the business to make money. If they weren't making low offers and buying vehicles and selling them for hire, there wouldn't be a CarMax. So I completely understand where they're coming from. However, they're screwing me just a little bit. All right, so let's start off with the lowest vehicle first. Okay, so the first vehicle is the 2013 F-150. It's my little work truck that I drive around most of the week. So uh, one thing I didn't know, the vehicle has been in an accident. Although it is like literally the smallest thing, it was something that didn't even have to be replaced. It was a little, I guess it was just like a little fender bender and it has a little small dent on the front bumper. They consider that as damage. So because of that, they're gonna mark it down big time. Now, go through that, I learned about that. Their offer was 4,500. Now, realistically, what I think I can get for the vehicle is somewhere between seven and 85, somewhere in there. So. Obviously, I'd be better off selling it myself, but we'll see what happens. First vehicle, 4,500. Next, we have the Toyota work truck. 
Okay, I bought this truck just to sell it. I got it at an auction. If you want it, hit me up. Maybe we can work out a deal. So uh, it does have a couple little dents or whatever, which I'm probably gonna get them fixed. But surprisingly, they did make a, a pretty good offer. They offered me 9,000. Really, on, in the grand scheme of things, I don't think that's absolutely horrible. I definitely think I will sell it for more than that, but I do have to do a couple things before I sell it. So. 9,000 for that one, not horrible. All right, so now we're off to the 2015 F-150 that I bought, same reason really just to sell it, so if you want to hit me up. They're way off on this one, and I even I even messaged them back, I said, hey, you guys didn't really um, give me uh, a chance to select all the options, because the way it works is that they kind of just base everything off your VIN number, so they don't really let you put all the options in there and everything, because this, even though it is a work truck, it is fully loaded for a work truck, as far as you can get a, this work truck loaded, it has every feature. So I, they were way off on this one. They said uh, they'd give me 12,000 for it, Again, way off. Um, I think I'm gonna get somewhere uh, closer to 18 for it. Again, we'll see what happens. But their offer, 12,000. Okay, so the Mom Mobile. This is my wife's vehicle, uh, 2015 Toyota Highlander. She has wrecked it. I was with her, but we did happen to make it through that. Um, we were at a four way stop. She didn't see the person, hit the side of them. Everybody was okay. Uh, we lived to tell the story. So. Wasn't even really a super bad wreck, you know, had to replace the front bumper and a headlight. But because of that, I do understand that they're gonna lowball you drastically. They offered us 13,000 for the car. Their vehicles were 20 something. It is what it is, I understand. You know, life goes on. And now it is time for my baby. 2017 F-250 Platinum. I love this truck, recently bought it, made a video on it, it's right there. Yeah, I really love this truck, and um, I knew this would bring in the most money, and this is what's gonna get us the Lambo. This is what gets us there. So, 2017 F-250, 89,000 miles, no wrecks, I'm the second owner, great condition. They decided to lowball me, but again, that's what they're gonna do, and they offered me 47,000. So, even though that seems like a lot, it's not, because the truck's really, I mean, really worth about just below 55 we'll say just below probably not 55 but somewhere somewhere in that area is what the truck's actually worth so that's what they would sell it for. well actually they'd probably sell it for like 56 so that's it, it is what it is that's where we're at so the grand total of all of these together eighty five thousand five hundred dollars is this enough to get a lambo can we make this happen make sure that you hit that subscribe button like this video and turn on post notifications so we can see if we make this happen. They do have a couple Lamborghinis for sale that we can afford. Now, for instance, as you can see, $82,000. So we get CarMax to buy all these vehicles and we can get the Lamborghini, but we just gotta convince my wife. If you hit that subscribe button, give this thing about 5 billion likes, maybe, she will let me do it. I hate that it didn't go 100% my way at Car a Car Max today. I would have loved to have been able to do everything there, but we live in some strange times, and you know we got to make the best of it. So I'm still glad that uh you know we got we're able to get all the prices and see exactly what we can get to. Definitely thought all my vehicles together would be at, or closer to 100,000 if not above. They gave they want to give me 82,000. Still not absolutely horrible. But thank you for watching this video, and let's go ahead and get straight into the verse of the day. Today's verse of the day comes from Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strengths. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not go weary, grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Love God, love yourself. Always know that you can talk to him. Thank you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button and comment down below if I should get the Lamborghini. We're out. Oh, oh, a freaking Lambo! Oh my God! Oh, God.